Welcome back, it's Shivas. A very special spoiler cast for one, The Life is Strange, Two Colors. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, ready to spoil. Alex. Yes. How are you? I am fantastic. I've brought you here today to do a special conversation about one, Life is Strange, Two Colors. Now, you yeah. and I both have extensive knowledge in this video game. We've played almost yes, all the entries, whereas you've only missed out on the second one. But you have mm-hmm. played all the other entries. I have played all of them, beaten yes. them all. I think I've thousand all. No, I know I've thousand all of them. So we've gotten all mm-hmm. the achievements. You have gotten all the achievements of the ones you played. Yes. All the expansive stuff. So we're huge fans of the game. So I'm ready to mm-hmm. talk about this. Um, let's get in. Let's just get into it. Um, yeah, let's just get into this, Alex. So, of course, developed by Deck Nine. Uh, if that sounds familiar, this is, of course, the people behind Life is Strange Before the Storm. Of course, not the ones who uh, created the first Life is Strange, which is Alex. Mm-hmm. You know, a little bit of trivia for you. You know the first one? Am I going to do this to me? Because I can never remember called, that on the top of my head. Oh, don't nod. Don't, don't nod. nod. Don't nod. Don't nod. Yep. Okay, that's what I say. Don't okay, nod I... made both Life is Strange 1 and 2. Deck mm-hmm. Nine gets Before the Storm, and, of course, True Colors. Um, we're. <clears throat> Of course, so released September 10th. We're recording September 16th. So we did want to get this out as quickly as possible. Alex just beat it about a day ago. Does that sound right? I believe so, yeah. I yep, I thousand it, I believe, yesterday around noonish. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, this game, of course, directed by Zach Garris. Uh, performance director was Webb Pickersgill. Jonathan Zimmerman, the narrative director. The writing, uh, the actual staff writers. Ryan Clements, the senior staff writer. Elise Khan, a couple other writers, M- Mallory Linton, DeAndre Warwick. And then we have the voice. I'm going to do the main characters. Um, Alex Chen, voiced by Erica Mori. Han Soto, voiced by Gabe Chen. Eric Emery, Ryan Lucan, Katie Benz, Steph Gingrich. And then, spoilers, our antagonist, played by Stephen Fuller Austin, a.k.a. Jed Lucan. Alex... Mm. there's not a way so life is strange is one of those games where you could you could attack it from any side you can go straight into the ending which is always almost the most interesting parts of the life is strange because of the decisions that they end you with or we can go choice by choice um i'm thinking we're gonna start light let's start light a little bit with the choices and then we're gonna kind of go into the ending um because first off I want to start the conversation with our main character, Alex Chen. Fantastic. Sucked me in the moment I met her. The From this bus stop, takes one step off, we make Gabe Chen. Such a fun experience. Such, mm-hmm. first off, a fun character. I, I don't know about you, Alex. I, I walked into this game knowing absolutely nothing. I knew Alex oh, was the main character, and I knew Gabe at some point was murdered. Although, I will say the marketing very much... Um, made it sound like he was murdered, murdered, as in like killed, like yeah. someone murdered him. Versus yeah, like, yeah. he died kind of indirectly. Like you can yeah. argue he was murdered, but you know it was more of an indirect manslaughter, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that first chapter. Um, and of course, uh, unlike other Life is Strange, this is one full game we play all together. Yes, uh, of I, course, I, Life I is really Strange 1, that. Before the Storm, and 2. Or, eh, I guess not Before the Storm. That's, no, Before that's, the Storm that's, was episodic. Yeah, no, that, that one, you, it was episodic, but and you got the episodes... I don't remember if it was completely, or if you got them a lot quicker than what 2 did. That's why 2 didn't catch me, because it was just the, the amount of time it took each episode to, t- to come out. It's just... Uh, yeah, and I'm actually very, very, very happy. That they mm-hmm. changed pace with this one, although keeping Same. the chapter format, which I, I do yes. love, because yes. it does give you kind of a more natural stop point, almost like a TV mm-hmm. show or movie, oh, where, sure. where it kind of it's kind of like an yeah. intermission. They they're like, mm-hmm. hey, uh, that's ch- in the end of chapter one, and you know it mm-hmm. ends very I mean, dramatically. It always feels like the Telltale games, like you know, like when oh something big happens and then it goes boom. The one thing I want to bring up is the end of episode two. That felt mm-hmm. like most like a TV show where you're seeing yeah. everyone happy with all the things floating away, and then you see um, Diana. Mm-hmm. Oh, really quickly. Mm. God. Fuck Diana. Everybody I comment down below who hates her. Hate 
Diana very clearly. Oh, I, very, dude, very. I, I didn't like at first, felt bad for her. At first, I, I felt very bad for her. She was in the uh, wrong, wrong place, wrong time. She got a really good job at this corporate esque place. Mm-hmm. Probably getting paid very her. well. And and I, again, I felt bad for her. She was in the middle of this essentially murder, almost like again mm-hmm. manslaughter. But it says you killed someone. Someone died because of you. Mm-hmm. And but then she starts defending it, and I'm like, nope, it's over, it's over. And then she gets real scummy, really mm-hmm. fast, real scummy, really oh, fast. Sure. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so the first episode, Alex, uh, yes. first chapter, not really much to talk about with choices. Although I do want, uh, I do want to know what was your actual vibe because uh, for the uninitiated these are spoiler casts but they're also kind of a review discussion this is just us kind of talking about with what we thought about the game so what did you think with that first chapter oh i enjoyed it i mean i i like the atmosphere like the you know the small town yes. thing you know she's the new girl in mm-hmm. town like mm-hmm. i like so right off the bat like i enjoyed alex's character yep me too and um it's just like a you know coming from like oh she you know she doesn't have any she doesn't know anybody nobody liked her in the past you know past town and coming to a new town starting fresh yeah not gonna lie kind of understand that feeling too so I kind of yeah. res- so I enjoyed that yeah yeah I get it you you actually kind of experienced that yourself so I actually mm-hmm. see that I never I didn't even think about that but that's a good point to bring up I mm-hmm. I enjoyed as soon as I saw her too because two things with uh, the Alex Chen character that I really like one we get the her finding a family, whereas before mm-hmm. she had nothing. It was Foster going home from home yep. to home. Some people not liking her, so kicking her out. Some just being mm-hmm. like, I wasn't ready to have a kid. I don't know why I agreed to this, and she had to leave. Yeah. And then she went to Juvie for a little while. Um, two, I love that she had the power. Oh, yeah. I love that from the get-go, we're told she has these powers. She doesn't know how they work. She just kind of feels a feeling mm-hmm. when someone is very strongly feeling that feeling and i love that we get that very quick this is how it happens is and you, it, you completely understand and you and it's that great introduction when um mac punches uh gabe, gabe? at the very mm-hmm. yeah chapter one. Oh, and we get that first off <clears throat> we just mow mac down just mm. mow him down. She just mm. get, feels the anger, lets it overwhelm her, and she just beat beat. And this dude's terrified of you for the she rest of the game. Mm. Yes, yeah, like, speared him. him. Yeah, I, and I love that this guy just terrified of you the rest of the game because you just beat him mm-hmm. to nothing, and he had to like mm-hmm. crawl away. Like, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, what what did you the Gabe character? We didn't get okay. to experience him much. Oh, I I liked his vibe already, and I enjoy I enjoyed that he wasn't too pushy on certain things. So, like for example, in the first I believe yeah the first chapter when he at on the roof when she tells him about the powers. God, I, that was so refreshing. It's when he was like, I, "Oh, that's really cool." W- w- quick sidebar: Do you like that they only one person referred to it as an empath? Steph was the only one who said, oh, we got an empath. That's the only person who ever said those words. Alex and, and, and Ryan was like the only time I was like, oh, these abilities or something. Nobody ever says anything about an empath. I could see or... why that would bother you, although I do not. I wouldn't think Gabe and Ryan are the most. <sighs> that was a nice way of saying this. They don't seem very smart. They seem gotcha. smart in their you. own particular ways. I, but I see what you mean. Steph like, they, had that specific knowledge. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. Geth, Steph had that specific knowledge of comics and things like that, mm-hmm. where she yeah. know, she knows for sure. Oh, this is I you know I I assume she read some comic book with a similar thing, and she just knew. Oh, mm-hmm. you're an empath, or you have an empathic like power, okay. or something like that. That's well, um, what I got what, from it. But I well, it's weird I read to me. Too much to be, of this stuff. Well, to me, it's weird because Alex doesn't even refer, doesn't even refer to herself as an empath either. She just says that she's different. Yeah, in, she's different. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's like. So she still doesn't kind of like accept them at some points. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Mm, that's a good it's, point. It's, that's I, what I'm saying. It's weird. Yeah. I. I mean, I guess I never thought about it, but she. I mean, she. She clearly doesn't like the powers, but mm-hmm. she uses them when she needs to. 
which mm-hmm. I think is a a gray area line thing that I think the game navigates om- almost perfectly uh, with some exceptions. But I do yeah. think she's she very clearly is like I don't like doing this, but mm-hmm. when it happens, I have I feel like I have to do it. Uh, for instance, Charlotte. Let's let's just go into this. I want to talk. I want to talk go about it, so yeah. so with Charlotte. Uh, since we're getting into the empathic abilities already, she finds out that she can steal her emotion. She can take. A, she can take away. She can take an emotion away from someone. Yeah. And with my choice specifically, I didn't. I don't know how that happens with Charlotte. I I picked um because that that scene was so first off really well done. Um, I did. So you, so you did take it. I took it. You took it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. I have questions, but first, we have, yeah, we have two different. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First, I like the. I like her recognizing, like maybe I should take, take this, and then the second is like, but like, will that hurt her more? Like, I love the unknown. We like we don't know, mm-hmm. and I feel like most people. I don't know if this is this what happened to you, Alex. I feel like most people think I use my power. That means it's good, right? Like that means that's the good option because I'm using my power to aid someone, and in this specific situation where I went, she has to deal with this by herself. First off, this scene is very tense and very sad because mm. she, she's essentially admitting that she cannot look at her son anymore without well, hating that, that's him. The th- that, well, that's and the that thing, was a very like, intense scene. That's the thing that I didn't like about Charlotte. That like that scene made me not like her as much anymore. Because of that. Like, I, yes, I understand, you know, this all happens and, like, you know, you mad, you're mad at Gabe, you're mad yeah. at Alex, you're mad at, but, like, I understand you could be upset with the son, but it, it's, 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 he's your son. It's yeah. not like you, it, like, I mean, can you really say that to someone and be like, yeah, I can't look at my son the same. I hate him. No, I mean, like, I don't enjoy that. I don't either. She did it. I, and, I don't know. I, I guess you didn't see the scene. Mm. Or maybe you did. I don't and know. Honestly, I, that's why I took it away. To try and help her process with her son. Yes, and because I didn't want her to. I didn't want her to hate her son. So I chose it for that would, that would help that would her. help it. Yeah, mm. that's interesting because it has almost that. I I don't know what effect it has later in the game, but it mm. seems like the positive i'm gonna put this in quotes positive we i we don't really know what happens to these characters you're just assuming something is positive because they align with you at the end but Mm -hmm. it seems like the positive uh, outcome is not helping her because she sides with you at the end which you could figure out like okay well maybe that's the good option i don't know i think a lot of this i think rightly so is up for interpretation in many ways i wanted to leave her with that anger and confusion because I feel like she has to deal with that. You, no, she has to deal about, with. What? No, since we're talking about Charlotte, because yeah. our endings were different. Yep. Does she does she mention anything at all at the end that she still hates her son, or does she does she feel better about it? Because that your your ending she, was different than mine. When she aligns with me, when I am um, accusing Jed, she, I forget what the specific language is, but I want to say she she walks up and is like, "I believe her." Uh, because she, what's the word she uses? I, Achievers, if you know, please comment below. Um, we're all we're always in the comments, so I'll I'll get a notification and um, I'll thank you in a corrections video in the next week. But I want to say she says something to the likes of like she hears people out or something like she li- she listened to me and she helped because when you don't help her, she walks away and she goes, look. It's rough right now, but you're you're not a bad mother because you're still taking care of the child. This is all this this is because there's two things you can say. There's words mean or your thoughts mean everything, or your actions speak for your uh, uh, speak louder than your your mind does. Yeah, I'm bo- boggling this down, but this essentially what boils down. And I picked the your actions are gonna speak. And picking that specific choice, talking to her, she uh, uh, Alex describes, "Hey, you know, you're having bad thoughts, but your actions with your son is what matters. You're taking care of him. You're not abusing him. You're not, you know, shouting at him. You're not taking this out on him. 
but you are having these eternal fear feelings that you're gonna have to figure out and she leaves and then later on she kind of brings up the fact like hey that you know that seemed to help and she seems better again okay. we don't really get full resolutions of these characters they we kind of just leave them um I um I, the dad does pick the Ethan's dad does pick him up still, right? That's just still part of the. There is is that still part of the game? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Because that's how you talk you to decision? Charlotte. Yeah, because remember, okay. she, Ethan. Just make sure. Yeah, it gets picked up before that. Oh, and yeah, he's okay. already gone, and she's chiseling at the thing, like trying to make right, making right, her right. art and stuff. So, okay. but yeah, that that still happened. And as far yeah, like I said, she sides with me. Um, does she? Uh, it, what does she say? Anything interesting? Well, what did she say to you? She you didn't say. Yeah, uh, you talking about the ending? Yeah, when she's like yeah, doesn't believe yeah, you. Like, what does she yeah, say? Yeah, she didn't. She didn't side with me because because I, I um when we're all in this and then she and she uh Alex looks at Charlotte and she's like Charlotte, you know, help me out here. Charlotte's like, um, you know, any any time you're around someone, or like she, I think what was it that she said? She said something about that um, um, there's something wrong with this. It's pretty much she pretty much said something's wrong with you. And mm. and now there's something wrong with me. And like she's saying, pretty much anybody that goes around you, something that bad makes happens. sense. And so okay, so she she puts one and one together. Like I was going through something, and you immediately ate it. I don't. And mm, yeah. okay, so, so that caused the confusion. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I kind of yeah, like no, that. So she, yeah, so she doesn't like me uh, because oh. she was like, yeah, now I'm because like, she's like, yeah, no, she's like, I'm broke. I'm yeah, she's like, now. something's wrong with me now, and because of you. <sighs> Okay. Which, All right. That's yeah. Interesting. Which is weird because like, with, does not does that mean now she will never have the emotion of anger, like ever? No, probably not. But I would assume it's not that drastic. I assume you're like, taking it from that one point. But but may, maybe maybe you t maybe it's so drastic. It's one thing. It's weird because they never specified or they never even thought about looking at it. You Alex can take away the emotion. They never tried giving it back. So. Uh, Maybe I'm making this up, and I probably am. I thought I watched a trailer that said you would able to manipulate their emotion. So if someone was sad, you could make them happy, but you kind oh. of do because you can learn why they're sad and then yeah, fix and you it. Help them. But I thought it, I thought it more literally. Like oh, you mean you like can, you can change it? Yeah, you can literally fix someone's mental state in some way. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I, I just took that too literally. Mm -hmm. Sticking with Charlotte. Did you say sign the affidavit? Of course, this is in chapter two at the very beginning when you go no. to her shop. Um, she advise, she I, asks you, uh, Gabe's death. Um, Typhon is asking me to, or Typhoon. Am I Typhoon. saying that right? Typhon, thank Typhoon. you. I knew I wasn't saying it right. Typhon um, says, if I sign this, this is a lot of money. You get a lot me. of money. No, so I, told told her, no. I told her no. I told, I told her, her yes. don't sign it. I told, you told her, her yes. sign it? If I had more context to what the game was going to be about, I would have said no. I didn't know we were going after Typhon. If, so did she sign it? So, no. You gave, you gave her an opinion. You gave her an, your opinion. You should sign it. But did she actually sign it? No. So at the end of the game, mm -hmm. uh, when she stand, stands up for you, um, Diana goes, uh, remember our agreement. And she goes, I'm not taking any of your fucking money, is what she says. Ooh. So... I think she d doesn't end up signing it, or maybe she signs okay. it, but there's something else she has to sign or something. But okay, who knows? Yeah, because I was gonna say, I told her but not to. I told her to again. This was before we. Before I figured. It, I thought this yeah. was. I I was like, first off, Gabe would have wanted her to the take money. the money. And that's what I said. I was like, oh, you know, take care of your son. That's what matters. But then yeah. I'm like, something's wrong. No, not no. doing this it, again. If I had more greater contacts, I would have been like, no, I'm going after them. You, that could fuck mm -hmm. this entire. That's what I, I was bro, like. The whole game, Alex. I was mm -hmm. worried. I completely ruined the game because I told her to sign that. I thought I completely botched the ending because mm -hmm. I thought we were gonna get to the end and she See, was gonna be like a star witness, like, hey, uh, one of our witnesses. And they're like, no, she signed an affidavit. And she See, cannot come up here because she agreed. She is not pressing charges, and that's like one key thing I'm gone. I thought See, I thought that was gonna be like a legal battle we were gonna have to do. Or and something. See, Go that's ahead. how I felt when I took her emotion. I thought when I took her emotion she was gonna sign it afterwards oh because she would be mad and she well she can't she, was, be mad. she wasn't be mad she, she yeah. yeah but yeah i would she would just sign it and then she that would be against me at the end hmm. but yeah that wasn't the case alex hmm. uh one of the most powerful things in the game is some mm -hmm. side thing one one of the one of my favorite moments we're gonna get to later but 
um, the character Eleanor. First off, yes. a, a very sad thing is happening. Sure, she's experiencing dementia. One, one cool thing you can do, though, is you can help her piece out through it in, in, in this chapter. Now, you do have a choice of either saying to Riley, hey, Grandma has dementia, or B, keeping her secret. Um, I kept the secret throughout the whole game. What did you do? I kept the whole secret. Okay. I, was, I don't know what happened. It wasn't I'm pretty secret sure. to tell. Yeah, that's how I saw it, too. I originally... Um, so I was... Not going to say it the whole time. The only time I second-guessed myself was at the bus stop. Because she was going to same. leave, and I went... I called you to talk about it. I was, she was going to leave, and I was like... <sighs> I don't want her to I leave. I should tell her. I got, I got a little greedy, and I was like, I don't want her to leave, though. So. Uh, she was a cool character. Um, yeah. but, but I was like, I, I should probably tell her. And I, 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 put, I put the cursor on it, and I went... And I was like, I can't. I can't. And I, and I, mm. I, I took... I kept the promise to Eleanor. I'm... I'm hoping other people help her, or maybe she goes and goes to a doctor or something, or maybe she goes to get medication. I, I don't know, but I, I mm-hmm. my the reasoning was like, if she really is going through this, she is going to be bedridden very quickly because she's not going to know what's going For on. Sure. So that well, was she my didn't one even, thing. She couldn't even remember about Gabe's Gabe's. That week. that was hard to watch. That was hard to watch. That was hard to watch. She, she was you, like, did you tell was, her? Yeah. Yes, I, told I, her. I did. I, had I to. did too. I did too. That was to, that was hard. literally just was happened, hard. and so, she was like, "Oh my god!" And she was like, "I missed it." And then I got the text saying, "I'm oh, sorry," and I was like, "Oh god!" I was that like, was oh. "That was rough to watch." I, I dementia is a very mm-hmm. soft spot for me, so see, watching that, mm-hmm. it like that, but uh, that messed me up. So yeah, bad. yeah, trust me. Hey, yeah, Sam. <laughs> yeah. So um, but yeah, yeah. The, that that whole thing with her was very nice. Um, I like that she, um, I like that she's so trustworthy. Because you're mm-hmm. keeping her secret, again, a little part of me wanted Eleanor to tell her, but yeah. I understand that I I like that there wasn't a cop out. It was either you tell Riley and she stays, or you don't and she's gone. I like that there wasn't a cop out like, oh, you know, she's still not. Like, I like that there was a choice. Either she does not know she has dementia, which again is very sad, or Alzheimer's could be, mm-hmm. um, which, which is super sad. Yeah. Um, or you don't tell her and she just leaves and doesn't know, which is crazy. Oh, it's so, that's so sad. She leaves and doesn't know that she's going through this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, to round this chapter out, we have um, the Mac character, which I'll be honest, mm-hmm. I didn't like at all. Uh, I think you're, you're not supposed to, of course, but I very much mm-hmm. do not like Mac. But you do have a choice to either calm him down or walk away at the end of this chapter when he's freaking out. Mm. You walk through his head saying like Typhon's gonna kill him, or he's fr- he's freaked out thinking he's about to be offed. Something's mm. gonna happen to him. He's told to not say they received a call, uh, and he starts freaking out. And you can either calm him down or walk away. What did you do? I calmed him down. I calmed him down too. I I I, I, I felt about it. I felt as, sorry as, for him. Same as as much as I hated him, and which honestly I helped him at the beginning. I let him be with the girlfriend. I didn't say shit. Really. Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, I, didn't, I, I did that. not help him at all when he yeah. was like hey like can you lie i was like hey, <laughs> no <laughs> i'm telling I, riley as soon as she walks into the store she walks in i go yeah he punched uh gabe <laughs> like immediately and she's like we're done and she walks away i, I felt bad because i beat the fuck out of him <laughs> <laughs> i love that that's a good reason like, i mean we beat yeah. the hell out of him so yeah so that's almost bad. like you paying it back like hey man i'm sorry like i really beat the hell out of you <laughs> you, I'll lie like, to your I'll girlfriend you. for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I felt bad. I so, was like, a little peek behind the curtains, achievers. Um, we actually mm-hmm. talked prior to this spoiler cast, just talking about the game. <clears throat> you told me at that time, you were thinking from Alex's perspective of being new to the town, which I did, which was very cool mm-hmm. to me. You thought from yeah. the actual character's perspective, being like, "Well, yeah. I'm new. I don't really want to be the." the mean guy yet so like i'll just yeah. agree and i'll try to like be friends with everybody like it's, like it's not I, my I business to know what's going on with them so i'm like eh, i'll let them figure it out you know? yeah yeah i get it i get it um we already talked about charlotte's by the way i'm, I'm using riot bits don't know who these people are but they have a really good jot down and i can remember most things mm-hmm. they didn't put down um we already talked about this oh mm-hmm. romance who did you romance mm-hmm. alex 
Mm, I romanced Steph. Ooh, yes, you did. Now, now, side <sighs> side note for anybody who doesn't remember Steph, because I did not. Mm-hmm. Yes, she's from Life is Strange before the storm. We're we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt later on, but oh, yeah, we'll talk more about it. But she is also in the first game as well. I don't remember um, she, her in the first game. So, well, so, I yeah. guess I could because she was in the school. Still. She she was in the school and she was playing in the yard with her D and D stuff. She's like just sitting on the ground. Oh playing. my god! Yeah, yes. yeah. She has a little D and D thing. She has her little she's group. She's the D and D chick. She's the D and D chick. You play D and D with her and everything. Wow, I very, didn't recognize her. Very cool part of that first game was you play oh a quick God. thing of D and D, and she asks you like, "What do you do now?" Oh, where dude, are you? I was into that game too. Yeah, yep. into that D and D game. Yep. Oh, now I had good good choice then. Good choice. We're I not going to go to the rose just yet because I want to talk about yeah. chapter three. Oh, God. Chapter three might be one of my favorite Life is Strange things ever. Yes. That's very hard to say because episode five of the original Life is Strange is so special to me. Mm -hmm. But chapter three is fantastic. I loved every Mm -hmm. moment of it. I love the pretend. I love that we're trying to get Ethan's mind off everything. I love... I've always wanted to be in a LARP. I I almost had the option to, because my uh, automotive teacher... Does LARPing? He goes LARP. He goes LARPing, and he invited me once, but I I just didn't get a chance to go. Oh, I sh- I wish I'd have gone. <laughs> so I was like, oh, we're gonna LARP. We're all just gonna pretend fight in a in a like mm-hmm. a pit. No, mm-hmm. Steph Dude. brought this to level twenty. Dude, so she she Imagine goes. That, that's how it is. Like it, like a whole part of the city is like a, the game. I was like, this is yeah. awesome. Yep. Yeah, people close down have blocks and stuff yes, for LARPing half the time. This was so cool. Which is crazy. Yeah. This was so cool. So my, I, so many favorite parts. First off, I don't know if you Ugh. did this, Alex. I didn't get any of the special power ups. I just fought everything, which is annoying. Uh if I don't know if you you're know talking about the little you're talking about the little green cards and it tells you like what you have what you get no, the no, little no, no. scrolls. Um, sorry, uh I meant less literally, like um the troll dust. Um, it'll make the troll fall asleep, so you don't have to fight him. There's the, oh, the, yeah, the, I, got the tri- I get the snake the tri- Yeah, the snake yeah, I, I didn't got, find yeah. that. I found all I that after I killed everything. I was like, damn it, I oh, could have wow. used all this. Um, yeah, and no, I found, I found they make like it. Two. They make sure to make it very easy, though, so it's not like it was hard. Yeah. I beat the hell out of everything. But because I had so many scrolls at the end, I was like using mm-hmm. I was using a scroll like every match. Like, oh, scroll of healing. <laughs> okay, scroll mm-hmm. of nimbleness. Uh, sc- like, I was just tearing, mm-hmm. tearing everything up. But The um, dodge one, I didn't even worry about. I didn't need to die. I, didn't touch. Yeah. I just doubled uh, Thanor's attack every single time. Did the so best, much damage. The best, one, the best one is like, oh, I'll give you four gold to the ogre. All right. Cool. <laughs> have a nice day. So the, I didn't have enough gold. Uh, oh, I, I go, I go. hey, maybe we can bribe him. And I, I had a gold it. piece. And I go, is this enough? And he goes, one gold piece? No. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Ryan was a yeah, good sport. I, Ryan yeah. was a good sport. Um, yeah, and of course we have the incredibly intense scene that you can have between you and Steph in her little shop, Magpie Emporium. Mm-hmm. And you can get you can walk up and go uh, and, and just straight up hit on her, mm-hmm. and she mm-hmm. just gets flustered. And, and I, I'm a sucker for this stuff. I was a sucker for the yeah, first game, it, it, and I'm mm-hmm. a sucker for it in this game. It's these two loved entwined individuals. I'm all mm-hmm. over here melting over it. It's so cool. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I said to her, I, I, I gave the option. You give my hand in marriage. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, because you can read you her. See and Ethan, you the... like... I love that he's like, oh, this got real. <laughs> I, love, <laughs> I was like, Ethan, you are the best wingman. Oh, my God, you're just killing it. And she was just slack-jawed, like... Uh, like yep. She didn't know what to say. It's so cool. Such a fun character moment. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and I love that Ryan is just changing outfits every time mm-hmm. <laughs> the snake was the best one he's like thanor is like we should fight it he's like he's just he's kind of just being a snake do we have to fight him and they're like yeah I, i'm like okay we'll fight him i told i um when we popped up and it was like it's kind of cute and ethan was like what yeah, i said that too he's like no <laughs> we're fighting this thing um and then the crescendo at the end first off mm-hmm. I, i'm skipping oh. um I'm, I, before we get to that one of my favorite characters in this entire game, Ducky. Oh. I love this guy. Oh, I, love I love this guy. guy. He is so yeah. fun. He is so fun. Yeah. He's so 
weird. Reginald McAllister the third. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That I think that yeah, I think you nailed it actually. I think that's exactly I what it is. Yeah, um but uh I love when you walk in and you just walk in first off body parts. And I was like, is Ethan about to freak out? Because there's pieces of people everywhere. And I was like, is he about to have like a flashback of Gabe getting yoinked by a boulder? <laughs> he was cool with it. He was cool with it. So nothing- that revert back to that. We didn't talk about that. He got we did by a fucking rock and hit him in the face. And he went. So I so when Alex passed I, I, that part, we had talked and I told him like, I wasn't supposed to, but I did chuckle a tiny bit when the rock comes out of nowhere and hits e- uh, uh, Gabe. Gabe, and it kind of looks like a cartoon because, <laughs> like, he hits, he gets hit in the chest, and you just see his whole body just gets pushed back, and it was just oh very humorous looking. So when I see this happen, I go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like again, it was like the like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> like because he just gets bodied by this giant boulder out of nowhere i loved dude, it i loved it dude it was I, so wanted funny. Make a, I wanted to make a meme of it was fucking unintentional edges but it was funny face. i wanted to make a meme of edge's face on that rock and make him be yes like yes edge's re- <laughs> edge's theme please you, just, you see a rock just yoink him uh it'd be oh, better if it was the rock's face but it doesn't really oh, make yeah. sense because yeah but eh, it's not important um but ducky Fantastic oh. character. I love how strange and witty he is. Uh, his um, dedication to the craft, uh, for lack oh, of for a sure. better term, he's- with uh, mm-hmm. him having so much fun uh, mm-hmm. doing all this, saying he was like, yeah, I used to be in a play. And, and like he describes the play and says mm-hmm. lines and stuff. And I'm pretty sure it's a real play. I, I don't know if it is, but he was uh, like reciting lines. And I'm like, this is so cool. He's such a fun character. Um, yeah. Uh, but moving moving on to the to the ending, when you sync up with um, Ethan, you pick up the sword. Yeah, uh, well, well Ethan you, does. Well, sorry, yeah, he, he Ethan grabs the sword and but then he starts that was freaking a cool out. Sword, yeah, he starts freaking out and you like kind of like put, intertwine with him. Put the um, jewels in there. Yeah, that was cool. And then um, you see it, it like he does, and it's yeah. it turns okay. into. It, it, uh, like a An RPG. For real RPG, and it looks awesome. Like I, I'll, I'll tell you this. So my wife comes home in the middle of this fight, and she goes, "Oh, I thought you were playing Life is Strange. What is this?" And I go, "Look a little closer." <laughs> and she's like, "Is this still a game?" I was like, "Yes." And this is awesome. I'm having so much fun, and I just tore it, tore up. Um, uh, which one did you pick? I picked the uh, Kravis, Kravis, the Kravis. Lord of the Underworld. Yes. I picked the other one. I picked the uh, oh. Stormbringer, whatever guy. Yeah, I know cool. what you're talking about. He was cool. Yeah. He had little lightning. What did your guys look like? Did he was he like zombie or something? He, he nah. He had he had like I think like firepower type of stuff. Gotcha. Mine was lightning. So he was yeah. just like lightning everywhere. So really cool though. Um, uh, that's really all I have for chapter. Yeah, I just loved everything about it. This mm-hmm. again, probably one of my most favorite, most favorite Jesus. One of my favorite uh, Life is Strange chapters, probably. Mm-hmm. Or episode, sure. whatever. You... All right. We already talked about the roses, so I don't think we need to get into that. Um, well, we talked. Mm, we didn't. We talk... talked about it. We didn't talk about it. You're right. I, actually, we you know what? I want to I talk romance right now. Yeah. Um, we didn't pick. Uh, there was two different choices of romance in the game. There's Ryan or there is Steph. Um, yeah. If you're lame, you picked Ryan. I mean, if you're cool and have fun, you picked Steph. So congratulations. Um, yeah, joking aside, though, um, Ryan seemed boring. I don't know if anyone else agrees with that. Achievers, let us know in the comments. If you picked Ryan, give, you know, give, give us a reason. I'm very curious. P- me personally, nothing about me with Ryan struck me as made sense. Alex seems no. like a completely different person. They don't seem to drive at all. Whereas with Steph, it yeah. is immediate connection oh, with, yeah. Yeah, with interests, really... with music, yep. with yep. everything. It's like, do I want to be with a park ranger or a rock star? I mean, like, I mean, really? For, no, a rock star that does D&D and owns a music shop? Are you kidding me with this? This is like an yeah, indie rock band person's dream. Mm-hmm. Um, did you win the guessing uh, uh, game with the music? 
Yes, I did too. I tried way too hard. Mm -hmm. I sat there Same. writing down. Okay, all right. So it, it includes a symbol. All right, it's more than one word, so it has to be this one. Okay, um, so I, I, I sat there like, mm -hmm. all right, there's no humans or animals on the cover, so that marks off this, this one, this one. All right, so yeah. this, and there was two Dude, possible was... ones at the end. Mm -hmm. There was the um the fuckables, and then there was mm -hmm. the um. I'm not going to remember the other one, but um, I was like, you know what? It's got fuck in the name. I'm going with fuckables. And it was right. And I was like, yes! Fuck yeah. Yeah, I, I got it right as well. Was it fuckables as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know if it randomized. So it's no, all, no, no. It's it, probably it was... always the fuckables then. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, uh, anything else with the romance? I mean, I, I honestly, this is going to be wild, but I think this is this might be the best romance ever. In the, in the life is strange um i do enjoy max and chloe's relationship although you don't yeah. have to make it romance uh romantic at all you can um, keep them as friends but i think this was managed more because it's hard because i really like chloe and rachel's romance i that's a good point i did too i enjoyed them a lot actually yeah um, I, think, I really enjoyed them i think it's it just ends so sad i think that's why mm -hmm. i don't that's my thing. It's like it just ends so sad. Tragic. I'm like, my God. Every time I think about it, I forget. Like, like, dude, I I teared up in Life is Strange 1 yeah. like, when we figured out. And then when you play Before the Storm Ugh. and then you remember that that's what happened, I was like, oh, my God. The after credit scene. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. You just hear the, the, the photo. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I was no, so that mad. was rough. That was rough to, yeah. to watch because uh, yeah. you know what's happening. And it, God, he just gets so dark out of nowhere. Like, you don't think this game, yeah. especially with the first one, but this one doesn't really get that dark. It gets dark, but it doesn't get first game dark. Uh, the, the first um, one. The second one doesn't re. I mean, it, mm, I, I don't know. The second one gets dark in different ways, but the first now, game is pretty fucked. We'll come back to this because I, at the end, I want to rank them. Oof. Okay, I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. Mm -hmm. so I wanna, um, at the end, I want to rank them. So we'll, we'll, wait, we'll, wait, we'll wait for the rankings. Um, yeah. uh, that's very fun. That's very fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll move on from romance uh, and go to the affidavit for Pike. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know what you picked. I said, shove it up your ass, Pike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I said no I'm thanks. not signing a piece of paper by those fuckers. All right? Yeah. You want to you wanna come after me? Let's do this. I am not mm -hmm. doing this, though. Uh, yeah. So I took away his fear, so I didn't have because I, I didn't know that was um, I was literally gonna do whatever it took to not do that, whether mm -hmm. it be me having to like beat him up or something. I don't know, but I was like, I am not signing this piece of paper. Yeah. I am not doing that. I have made it way too far mm -hmm. to be like, I guess I'll sign it. No, I'm not signing this piece of paper. Yep. So that was that's pretty straightforward. I. You don't really get much of Pike. You just know that he's scared, and then you basically take it away. So, so he's not scared anymore, and then he sides with you. But, um, so this chapter four ends with Jeb turning out to be the the main Jeb, bad guy. Yeah. Jeb, he, yeah, like you go to him, you explain everything that happened. He goes, you know what? I'm tired of keeping their secrets. Follow me. I'll show you where everything's held. You go to an abandoned mine shaft. He says it's down there. As soon as that, I hear that, I go, "This is, motherfucker you, is about to kill is, me." He's like, "Why are you so sad?" Oh, that I was like, "No!" I was like, as soon as she said that, I went, "It's like your no! spidey sense is tingled." I I don't know about you, Alex. I I very much like Jed. He, I did he, too. I, I fell for a hook, line, and sinker. I was I'd say I was Jed's friend. We were hanging out. I was I confided with him any chance I got like I, I loved his input on things mm -hmm. um, his little hero sideline thing like that he had was really cool that he saved a bunch of miners although I did say to myself um, they did kind of give it away which it doesn't matter because the story is so good mm -hmm. I figured Jed's thing would tie to the explosion in some way but i did not think jed would turn out to be the villain dude does that make sense yeah no yeah I get they it. kept bringing it up so i was like okay this is going to play into the story yeah how i don't know and yeah, i definitely didn't think oh it's going to turn out to be jed is behind almost all of this yeah 
quote unquote all of this. He's not, you know. Yeah. It's just it's crazy because like even at the beginning, uh, like when you come down it, Life is Strange is always good with like kind of like hinting at stuff, but like nonchalantly, like so no no like you have to be paying like yeah. attention. You do like when you walk down and you see Jed like you're he, like facing the bar, the whole lighting it's a red around him. So it's like the aura or, or like, so it looks like an aura, which is red, meaning he's like, Oh, there's something going on. Something why is this? On. Why? Yeah. Why is it really red around him? Yeah. And I noticed that and I was like, that's weird. Why is it really red? I don't remember the light being that bright. So then when you start sitting down and he hasn't turned around and I'm like, and he, and he was, she was like, Oh, I saw, you know, I was like, Oh, why are you watching? So as soon as he started saying more stuff and how he was acting, because by the way, the expressions in this game, awesome, top notch, top notch. Yeah. That, that, we didn't bring that up, but thank you for bringing this up, Alex. Uh, it's important to note because uh, this is a very—I mean, there's almost no action in this video game at all. Mm-hmm. But mean, the expressions and like how they talk and stuff, the way like, they, the they mannerisms, the voice that. acting, the the, yeah. the 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 way they communicate, you can tell like how mm-hmm. they're how they're feeling by just kind of like, sitting especially there. Especially with Alex's and expressions, like it's it's, it's so. I cool. want to bring up something. La Noir. Do you remember this game, Alex? I love that game, dude. So La Noir was very deliberate with their expressions, like uh, like oh I'm uh I I like, wasn't there that night, and and they just go like like they literally. It's like, like oh, I, I think all he's the lying. Resources are on those on those things, but but in this one, it's much more. So it like nuance hidden, isn't the word I want to use, but it's it's very mellowed. But you can still tell there's emotion behind all of the characters and how they're talking. Diana specifically has mm-hmm. this kind of face on her, but but it make it means something when she actually does show emotion because you can see she's mm-hmm. kind of breaking behind that weird corporate garbage she's doing. Mm-hmm. Well, what, like, things, like when he like turned, that. well when he turned around and started talking to her and he and she started explaining like I was like oh I know what's going on. You can see him like. He's like, oh shit, she knows. Like, like his expression. I was like, oh yep. no, yep. please don't tell me that it's he's behind. the bad guy. Oh, he when he points, it's like, yeah, it's it's down there. Why are you Dude, sad? As soon as and you soon hear as, the the gun. As soon as I don't see a cave and I don't see the entrance to the other one, and, see, yeah. and it looks like it's just a hole on the floor, I was like, the moment oh, he was like, it's oh. down there, and I'm like, that's a mine shaft that probably goes down hundreds of feet. Nothing. There's something shady here. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, first and off, then Jed, sh- if you're gonna murder someone, practice Make shooting. Sure you, practice yeah. shooting. What the it fuck slid is this? across her forehead. Like, and you gave her like a paper cut on her head, bro. Dude, I'm surprised she didn't fall from. She didn't die from the fall. That was a big fall. I'm not a doctor, but when she kept falling, I'm like. She- she must have had the broken, a she's couple dead, broken ribs. right? Like, it doesn't make any sense that she's alive, but it's a video game. I'm not going to harp on that. Mm-hmm. But she had a lot of broken ribs, and then she fell again. I thought, I, uh. I, when, when she fell, I was like, oh, this is how they'll explain she's alive. She fell a good distance, but she can reach the ladder, and she can just crawl out and be fine. And then it breaks, and I'm like, oh, okay, no. Okay, she might be uh, dead. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then she finds out in the mind the truth, and then her dad was in there. Whoa, that was very strange. Did you? I, I can already see some achievers probably having issues with how coincidental this was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they didn't really but... explain where the dad went or how they even got all to, in that same town. So, so I don't know if you know this or saw this, but um, Gabe was looking for his father. Yes, and he found this town. So he was actually correct in looking in this town, trying to find um, uh, his father, but ended up staying. So that kind of made it a little better for me. I was I very quickly like, okay. really, out of all the places, he goes to this town and That's works here. But then later on, you read something. Out I think it's I think it's at the end of this chapter. You find out like, yeah, when when Gabe was searching for his dad and and I was like, oh, that makes so much more sense. He was looking for him. He got here, figured out, oh, wait, he's gone. This place is actually kind of cool, though. And maybe he met Charlotte and then he was like, oh, well, I got to stay now. This place is really cool. Well, I did have a sister. Let's Mm -hmm. start looking for her, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, You know what I'm thinking? That Jed knew the father, realized Gabe Chen is the son Maze and it felt bad about it, so it was like, mm. "Here, hey, I'll give you a job, and you can stay here with us, and uh, you know you can mm. live upstairs, and taking care of him." 
Because he felt bad about what happened 12 years ago. I don't hate the idea now. Maybe he saw some sort of familiar resemblance. He was using a fake name, if I remember correctly. I don't... Who, Gabe? No, or John? his father. No, John Chen. That's what he said to Jen. When that you was go his down... name. Yeah, so when you go downstairs and you I go know and, get the the, and you do the thing, uh, you, like doing the memories, yeah. it says, it's, oh, my name is John Chen. And it says it on that jacket, the... The kill, the so he probably jacket, knew. whatever. So he probably yeah. knew. He probably went like, "I can't have this guy looking around." Hey, why don't mm-hmm. you stay with me? Yep. And he's like, "Yeah, sure." So. Yep. All right. Uh, chapter five, very abstract. You spend most of the game in memories. Um, I'll be honest, I don't have much to talk about with this. Uh, you just get more. You get, yeah, you get more of a backstory about Alex and Gabe's relationship. Um, you mm-hmm. get a very yeah. sad tale with the mother that that really hurt. Um, that was mm-hmm. really sad to watch, um, mm-hmm. and then you see an even uh, arguably sadder with their father, father. giving up on yep, his two that, children. He just goes, yep. he's like, "I can't do this," and he just leaves. And I was like, "Whew, this game is it's, fucking rough." Man. It's yeah, it's it's hard because I mean that it happens. It does, it does. So, uh, and I'm glad this game is showing us something that I mean, of course, happens. Mm-hmm. Um. And, was, and again, it was very hard to watch, especially when he just, you see him, again, the, the acting in this is incredible. When you see him break, and he just goes, someone will come, I can't do this. This was not the plan. Like, you, when, the, you, when she died, I didn't think it would be this hard, and he just dips out. He's gone. He, and she throws the necklace, he grabs it, and then takes it with him, and then she finds it in the mine. Oh, that was... That was that's the that's the train the memory that you yep. it was orating that's cool that's crazy though mm-hmm. um and a sad way to die too uh in a cave drowning to death um uh, now this woman the balls on her for walking all the way hurt to the bar and she just walks in I, I, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I wish she would have punched him. I wish she would have walked up to Jed and just went. I would have liked that too. But she was like, "I gotta make some points." <laughs> like, yeah, I gotta make some I, points. Yeah. Now, I want to bring up very quickly. A couple people react, but they don't react very. In, like, no one really mm-hmm. reacts well to you being just, b- bloodied and broken. The only one that really does it is like yes. Steph. She goes like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> Whereas everyone's like, "Oh, that looked like it hurt." Yeah, it's like, what's, what's for lunch? <laughs> like, they seem very casual about you. Oh, my God. On and then Diana's, death's door in front of them. And then Diane is like, oh, you know, it was illegal going oh, down there. That's weird. You know, let's not get out of hand. That was illegal trespassing. So we shouldn't talk about it. And I'm like, oh, my God, this really bitch is crazy. I again, I used to feel bad for her. Never again. Never again. Oh, God, no. She can die now. I don't care. But, um, uh, this She's was a corporate this, woman. I didn't like her to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, this is when uh, the ball's in your court. Everyone sides with you who's going to side with you. I had mm-hmm. everyone. Ryan as well. Alex had about half the people you had. Uh... <laughs> no, I didn't. You didn't? I, I had two people. Steph and Eleanor, right? I-, I had Eleanor and Pike. Got it. So you had Eleanor, Pike, and Steph. But Steph wasn't. It, Steph, uh, Steph well, of she course, kinda Steph counts, left. But... she left with me. It, but we'll get to the ending. No, we'll get to the end. But I mean, like, who sided with you? Like, you know, when oh, you walk okay. into the she's yeah. Steph sides so with Steph, you. So. Pike and Eleanor, those, those three. That's it. I had everyone. I, me- I meant to get Ducky, but I f- missed him at the LARP. So not the LARP, Chapter Four. Oh, sorry, the yeah, party. I, uh, I know you meant that. Spring, the Spring um, Festival. Very quickly, you did not experience this, Alex. So sorry. Sm- slight spoilers. I'm. G- this is just going to be me and the achievers for oh, a while. Oh, you're fine. This is going to be me and the achievers. This is, this for is a spoiler while. cast. Give it to me, achievers. Hey, what's up? So, this is for all the people who did not miss that fantastic chapter four ducky dance. So, I went, I went back and did it. Oh, okay. That's good. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, I you know. know. Okay. So, that ducky dance, beautiful. That is. Beautiful. You, I, I was, I, I teared up. I got to admit it. I, I, it was, I was nice. crying a little bit when he goes like, you know, thank you for taking the time to make an old man 
smile for a little while. Yep. And I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> like, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm about to lose it. Feel sad old man Me and the wife like, oh. are, are watching this. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to fucking break down. Like, this is incredibly sad, but also very happy that we got to like cheer him up because he was so sad with, of course, with the wife. He was with her for so long and she passed away. And his daughter mm-hmm. is estranged, which is also sad. They're not even in talking terms, it seems like, anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but you did get to experience a little bit with him, which was really nice. And I really liked his kind of character arc. Not really an arc, but, you know, I liked yeah. experiencing his story and helping him through that, which yeah. which, uh, which is, in essence, Alex Chen, I, I think, in this video game, where like you, you hear mm-hmm. people's stories and you try to alleviate something and and he, I think Ducky is the perfect example of of Alex is yeah. motivations in this game, which which is hearing someone's story and trying to help them in some way. And that was such yeah. a fun little dance scene. You get to talk with him, have fun. He's so mm-hmm. he's so weird. I love him. Love that guy. Oh yeah. Um, but let's go back to that ending. So two choices at the end of this game. You're talking with Gabe at the rooftop, and you have two choices. He shows you this beautiful life that you can have at Haven. This community we, we, being we, we rebuilt. Missed we missed a decision. Uh, what am I missing? In the bar, in the bar, Jed, what did you decide to do with him? You condemned him or did you forgive him? So, thank you so much for reminding me of this, Alex. This was a very, 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 very hot, 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 hot topic on Twitter. And I read it completely different with some of my colleagues in the industry did. Mm-hmm. Um, one... Some of them were like, some of them took it very literally. So, mm-hmm. of course, we have that huge conversation between you and Jed of just having you ever, t- it feels like time stops and it's mm-hmm. just you and Jed and it you were like talking. It, it, I think and you what it looked like, I think she got full control of her powers and pretty much froze everything and not froze my, like, like, I know like, what you mean. He, yeah. his attention emotion, was his attention on you. Just, and yeah. You had his mind for as long as she wanted. I think cause she was like, stop. And everybody was just like, I think everybody's emotions. Actually, I think she controlled everybody's emotions to make it, them stop. maybe, maybe, but that was intense. Cause, cause it's just, it's, it is a face cam to face over. Mm-hmm. No, you see him, you see her, you see, and it's, you just it was a talking, talking again, Incredible writing. He didn't say one word. Nothing. He just lets you speak. He he's refuted you this whole time. He says you're lying. I didn't do mm-hmm. any of this. Are you really gonna believe her? She's crazy. She's obviously and sad about Gabe. Every, yeah. And then she goes no. And then she just breaks this guy down. And at the mm-hmm. very end of this, you have two choices: forgive or condemn. What did you pick? Forgave. I forgave everyone on Twitter. As, 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 excuse me. Everyone I've talked to about this specific situation um, picked to condemn. Achievers, let me know mm-hmm. what you picked below. I'm very curious um, because I want to know your interpretation of these two things. My Can- interpretation and why I picked forgave was not necessarily a literal forgiveness, which is, mm-hmm. again, a Kotaku, I believe, article. My, I'm pretty sure it was Kotaku. Apologies if I was incorrect on that. But um, he said, she's not that nice. Basically, her, his point was, he, he's not, she's not going to forgive him for murdering his gay. Taking it very it's, literally. I, I did literal. not take this literally. I took this as a, as a almost metaphorical forgiveness. That's not the right word I want to use here, but it's, essentially it's sitting there. Forgiving him hurts him more. They condemning him because condemning him in a way makes us turn as bad as he does. So condemning, in my opinion, is I I need to watch her speech with condemn. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it, so I and I should have done that before this. I apologize, achievers. But the way the apology works, I feel like is you have centered your life around a false event that you have lied about for 10 plus years. I am moving past this. Mm-hmm. I am I have I have forgiven. I'm moving on. <laughs> you are you are screwed. You cannot mm-hmm. leave this. You have been surrounded by a lie and the only reason you are who you are today is cuz of a lie. 
Mm -hmm. And I am going to leave this and be someone else versus you who has stayed the same and has tried to live in this false life, false identity that Mm -hmm. um, uh, Sir Jed has basically brought upon himself. That is how I took it. Again, I did not take it as a literal, like, I forgive you. It's okay that you murdered six no, people, God, no. uh, basically killed Gabe, um, tried to murder me. Like, I, I, that, that's not how I read it at all. I didn't think yeah. she's like, I'm really, like, I very, and no. I also took it in a way, and I, I, want, I want your opinion on this, Alex. Mm-hmm. It seems like we are slinked in some way in this. So, like, I feel like she is in his head and, and is literally kind of like, LinkedIn seeing like the way he has processed all this Mm -hmm. and you can tell a little bit of him does regret yes yes he breaks down in front of you on his knees yeah the more you speak to him and the more she says like what he's it's like, like this is how you're feeling away. because I know you how you're feeling yeah. and he hasn't realized it the, now once he once she says it and it clicks he realizes it oh and regrets starts regretting and when you forgive him he breaks he yeah. starts breaking completely down completely because he realizes falls apart like that he, he because he, he realizes that he is a piece of shit he realized all of this was fucked everything yeah. he's done He's lost everything now. Yeah. Everything. He's, mm-hmm. His son's not going to believe him anymore. He, his, his whole thing he's made here in this bar is not... He's, he's yes, never going to see any of this bar. again. And he just... And he's like a blip in history now. He's just... He's gone. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it was an incredible moment again with... First off, that I was sunken into the scene. I was mm-hmm. draw, jaw dropped watching this talk back and forth. And then when it happens, I, I like sat for a second, like, damn, should I? And I was like, mm-hmm. no, forgive. I no, forgive yes. this. It is over. I, this I is done. Like, like, this was almost a forgiveness of what happened with Gabe. Like, Gabe, I've been stuck on Gabe this entire time. I have closure now. Mm-hmm. I am moving on. You're not going to be able to because you still have to live with yourself with all the shit mm-hmm. you've done. And also you're going to jail for the rest of your life. Yeah. Um, so that's how I took it, uh, basically. Um, but Alex, let's talk of the let's talk these endings. Yes. Let's talk these endings. So two endings. Yes. There's uh, I think there's actually three. Sorry. Well, there's technically more than those endings. Yes. Um, but really, there's two decisions to end the yeah. video game with. Technically, there's yeah. multiple endings because you can have different romances or you can not romance anybody. Not romance anybody. And, so, yeah. Okay. You know, the two and, main, two the main two, choices. Two main choices at the end. You either stay in Haven mm-hmm. or you seek adventure. Um, Alex, mm-hmm. I seeked adventure. What did you do? Seek adventure. You seek adventure. Okay. Yes, I did not stay. I do not want to be here anymore. I. I <laughs> so you took I, a- Well, because me forgiving Jen is me moving on. Me moving on is leaving this place. Me too. So that that as well, and also I got very deep here. Uh, be honest, I got very deep. I was like, mm-hmm. w- one of the reasons I started. Um, this is super deep. I'm sorry, achievers. One of the reasons I started. We started. I say I. We started this podcast. At least for me. I, I guess I'm speaking for myself here. But I didn't want to be 80 years old and go, what if? Mm-hmm. What if if I did this? What if I did a passion that I had? What if I didn't do this? That is one of my greatest fears, I think, in life is going and saying, what if? I'd never want to say that in my mm-hmm. parting hours. And I also didn't want that for Alex. And I think I was... Kind of projecting a little, but I didn't. I did. I didn't want no, Alex sure. to go. What if I? If I? What if I, if I tried? Left. What if I tried? Yeah. What if I tried to do my music? Because mm-hmm. now they know if if it all fucks up, we hey we tried it. We yeah. fucked up, but we tried. I did not want Alex really did, so you to just come back. To that. Yeah, she can come back. Haven's gonna be there. Um, they did very much try to sway us. By the way. Uh, mm-hmm. Look at all this beautiful stuff that you're going to create. You can create this giant community uh, or you can leave. Yeah. And, and I was like, okay, well, um, I did want to bring up, it seemed very final. Uh, we're going to come back, right? So like, 
we're gonna visit so i was like yeah. you know I, we're not gonna be gone forever but we are gonna like you know have fun with our music and stuff but uh and partly was the reason was steph wanted to leave mm-hmm. steph if said me, steph, if, steph said if it was she, me i'd never come back really because of mm-hmm. just what happened like everything bad happened. well that and that and there's nothing keeping me there anymore i mean yeah there's cool friends or anything like that but there's you can make friends everywhere. There's not like a family member. There's not some like a loved one. Like like for me, it's like or like Steph is leaving. She's not staying. So she she will only she stay. She, she said she would she stay for you. She's yeah, but I mean, I wanted to. I, wanted I didn't to want to do that to her either, though. She says like yeah. I'll stay if you want to. I'm like, no, you wanted to go. We should not. If yeah. you want to go, like, we you should go, go. Do this. I want to go. Let's just go. Let's just fucking go. I so you seemed much more final with your decision i was kind of yes. like of two minds i was like we're gonna go but this isn't good this isn't goodbye forever this is hey i'm gonna see yeah. you later I'm, it might be a long time might be a couple of years might be two years yeah we're gonna see ethan again we're gonna have a D. we're gonna play larp again we're gonna come back maybe it doesn't work out or maybe it does work out and we come back here for summers or something who knows mm. i i think way too deep about stuff but my reasoning was i didn't want Alex or Steph to ask what if later on in their life. So that was my mm-hmm. primary goal. Like we we and I sat on that screen for a while. I don't know how fast it was for you, Alex, but I sat there for probably five minutes. Mm, I wasn't that long. I literally was maybe Alex like, is the like first... fuck this place. Not, everything that's happened to me is terrible. I got here, the, my brother died, and, and like, I, I got the accused minute, of like, like being involved. Let's see the first minute was me it was like oh you know i'm gonna i'm i knew i was like i'm leaving because of this this and this i'm moving on all that stuff the next thir- it was because it took me two minutes the next 30 seconds I was like uh, oh, maybe i should stay you know it's kind of fun being here and now we could stay and have all the stuff yeah. and then the last 30 seconds was like but in, based on my decisions that i've made nobody really likes me so why should i stay anyway so i'm leaving that's a good point alex now i i had much more of a base to stay with yeah you See, like, so, like, had ducky, no one <laughs> so ducky didn't trust me yeah mac is fine riley's not there eleanor likes me and pike likes me ethan maybe likes me charlotte hates me i don't like her anyway yeah uh and then i mean and i and ryan yeah, ryan kind of no Ryan doesn't like me. That's right. Ryan doesn't like you because he did not trust you. <laughs> Ryan didn't end. trust me at the end, which I yeah. don't know why. I don't know why either. I assume I that has happened. something to do with some choice you made he, at some he, point. Or maybe there's an me. invisible counter. Or maybe it's like you have to have a certain number of people believe you or something. But he believed me. Maybe. As soon maybe as I walked he, up maybe. to him, I was like, Ryan's not going to believe me. And she goes like, maybe you believe me, right? He didn't believe me. He, I, I couldn't get him to believe. Like, yeah. Chapter four. Um, If you did the chapter four thing, it would have... He would have uh, said no. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's like Ryan didn't do it, and even Steph was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" And that's what I was like. He didn't even like. So like, I left, and he wasn't even. He didn't even show up. Yeah, that's yeah, that's sad. Um, everyone showed up for me. The whole town did. So Mm. that was kind. That was kind of nice to get that nice goodbye with uh, Steph and everyone. So that was that was really cool. Um, and yeah, if you do the seek adventure ending, you you walk out. Uh, you hear a cheering crowd. Uh, uh, Steph texts you, uh, fuck em up, babe. And mm-hmm. you walk out and you fucking do a killer song. Mm-hmm. In front of a bunch fade, of people. Fade to black. And it's um, funny. And it's cool because they show past pictures and they've gone to like a bunch of places. Oh, did they? I didn't see this. Yeah, the, there's, yeah there's a bunch. There's a. I th- um, I, I, God, I don't remember where I, I want, I want to say it was either on the guitar or maybe it was after on the, maybe in the credits, but there was a, there was a couple pictures and it was showing, uh, both, all three, it was both of them. And there was three pictures and it was like together. And they had like, I think they had, uh, different places. Like, I think they did go to Berlin and then they like went to other places. That's cool. So they actually did travel. Um, if you, oh, are you finished talking about the ending Alex? I mean that's the that's my choice. I, that's what I picked. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have much else to say about the ending. It was beautiful. I, I love that me and Steph are gonna go have a great life together. Very similar mm-hmm. to a certain ending in Life is Strange One. If you picked it, mm-hmm. um, almost the exact same. Almost the exact mm-hmm. same. Very interesting uh, theming yeah. there. Uh, but uh, if you are by yourself at the end uh, and you pick Stay in Haven, uh, Steph does leave, but she gives you the record store. Um, if you seek adventure by yourself, it's the exact same thing. Um. 
uh, it's, except you don't get a text from your significant other. If you romanced Ryan or Steph, yeah. you just don't get that text. That's the only difference if you go to Seek Adventure. Um, and then if you stay, um, you you see like. In the flash forward scene, if you stay in Haven, you see, you know, your significant other like partying and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I did, it did almost sway me because I feel like that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to sway you into staying. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, look at all this beautiful stuff. Like, look, look how pu pretty it is. Isn't it great? You should stay. And I go, this game's very, very clearly trying to set up me staying. And I go, I you want to go. I, I think we should leave. Yeah, no, I I'm, I left. Yeah, but that that was the endings, and you know, of course, add a significant other, and that makes the ending a slightly different. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, that that is our spoiler cast talk. I do want to quickly jump into some Easter eggs. Let's do an Easter egg hunt really quick. Easter eggs. I was going to say, we got a couple of stuff we still need to talk about. We do, we do, we do. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. So uh, there is a Wolf Brothers jumper. Of course, this is a, a callback to Life is Strange 2. Um, they are called the Wolf Pack, and that's how they're kind of described throughout the game. You can get a, mm. a literal Wolf Pack uh, sweatshirt in this game, so it's very nice. Um, you do see blue butterfly lights, very, very, very similar to Life is Strange One's butterflies to signify the butterfly effect. Um, you see them throughout uh, the uh, flower shop uh, flower in shop, the yeah. corner. There is uh, oh, no, there's some, three yeah, there's three of them. So very nice. Uh, you see a Firewalk poster in the record store. Um, if you remember Firewalk, that is the kind of rock star place that you go to in Before the Storm. Um, and that's where Max meet. sorry, um, uh, Chloe and Rachel, Chloe meets Rachel. Thank you. I was like, not Max. It's, so yeah, that, that's where they meet. That was very cool. Uh, that's not important. And you see hot dog man throughout the game. <laughs> um, he, he, of course, Hot Dog Man. You can have a shirt from it, or you see a little sticker on a uh, mm -hmm. on a street lamp, and that's just a regular yeah. recurring man throughout the games. Hot Dog Man. Uh, not many Easter eggs. That's all I could find, yeah. honestly. I, I couldn't. I couldn't find. I'm actually gonna find. See if I can find some more for you achievers. But that's basically it. Let's do a a wrap up, and I'll shout out any other ones that I find. Alex, um, I got you two said, questions. Oh, okay. I was gonna so go to the ranks, questions. but let's let's do your questions first. So, or, or the ranks was the one question. The second question, out of each protagonist from all the Life is Strange, because this one's different versus games versus character. Which one's your favorite character? Max, Chloe. I guess with two, your the brother, the brothers, yeah. Or Alex, which one's your favorite? My favorite protagonist. Yeah. So Alex, or is he, or excuse me. So Max, so you mean Max? Or, in Max, Life is Strange one, Chloe before the storm. Yeah, the, the brother. I can't remember his two. name. I forget his name. I'm just saying the brother, uh, or uh, Alex. Those four. Who is your favorite? God, you ask hard questions, Alex. Um, I have it. I have it down to <sighs> two people. I mean, it's it's easy for me. Okay. To knock off two, obviously. Yep, but I yep, don't same. even remember his name. So clearly, I, I did not Are leave that much of an impact. The question is, do I like Max or Chloe more? That's your final two? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. That's Alex is saying. for sure in the top two. It's the question okay. is, who do I like more, Chloe or Max? I'm going to say... I like Chloe more. I was gonna say I like Chloe more. So I do like Max, Chloe but it's not, but her power doesn't give her the upreach. It's uh, I like Chloe's personality more. Thank you. I, I was talking specifically characters. Obviously, Max has a very interesting fucking power. She oh, rewinds yeah, time, fucking, so like yeah. it's she's very strong. But I don't no, factor I like that her, in. I, I want the character. I don't. I, don't care yeah, I want the, the power. yeah. I like Chloe, and it's between to me. Me, it's between Chloe and Alex. It's a hard one, isn't it? Think of it, okay, think of it as a Telltale game or this game. If one is about to die, who do you save? As achievers, I'm sorry for the dead air. It's just this is a very hard question. I think achievers. I think I have uh, 
comment down below. Yeah, yeah same with you, Chief. And who, why? Who, who is the protagonist? I like that to you know why, why, why they're why, why they're your favorite? Because I love all uh, people's opinions. <laughs> I'm gonna my. I'm give you mine. I'm gonna say I like. Alex. I'm going to say yeah. Alex too. Because I, I, I kind of resembled in a way because, you know, new to a new town and not knowing anybody and, yeah. you know, having, you know, like, it kind of like, like, I kind of felt that. Like, I love Chloe. I love, like, the punk, uh, you know, and it's, stuff like that. But, like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, when it's close, I'm talking, like, I think the only reason I like Alex a tiny bit more is just because the story was a bit better. Mm -hmm. To me, it's just because I can resemble a little bit more on Alex's yeah. side, and not just because we have the same name. But yeah, I like I, I like Alex more. Alex is my my favorite character out of all Life is Strange. Alex, now the question is, what is your ranking for the Life is Strange games? I am going to lead. <clears throat> okay. True Colors. One before the storm. Two. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. It's wild that I said this is my favorite Life is Strange, but like I, I think it is. I think it is. Achievers, hold me to this. Ask me in a few months if I feel the same way. I, I, I hope it's not the, you know, sometimes the recency, because it's so recent, you think you like it more. Um, but like this was just such a fun time. Chapter three, I can't overstate on how good that chapter was. How you know fun that was. You know what's crazy? True Colors is not my favorite. Even though the character is no, I get, the I character, it. the the, the yeah. game no, in a it. whole yeah. is it, I I it's between one and before the storm. No, I I, I get it, I get it. Trust me. I, and it's hard to decide. But I think in the game as a whole. I'm going to say the first one. The OG. First one, say your favorite. I respect that, man. I respect it. Again, it's, it's, I need it's, to do it. Now it's, now, it's really hard because with, so, with before, it's almost before the storm. It's almost before the storm. Achievers, you're going to hold us to this. There is a remaster collection coming out soon, and I've already pre-ordered this as part yeah, of the yeah, Ultimate man. Edition. We are going to play through all Life is Strange games. And we will get, come back with our findings and we'll do spoiler cast for each. Because that's it sounds fun as fuck. So hold us to that. I, I might, if I can handle it, I might stream it. Oh, Alex might stream. I might I might I might twitch.tv slash easy achievers. Mm, maybe live, maybe. I was thinking about like like bringing out an episode every couple days. Yeah, you might I mean, hey, what's nice is they're short games and they're divvied up by chapters mm -hmm. too. So I could yeah, that's what I was thinking. You each do, episode could be out a chapter. Very quickly. No, actually no, that'd be way too many. Too many hours. <laughs> One chapter is like four hours. <laughs> that's true. Uh it's two hours. But yeah. Alex, that is hmm. that's the game. I, I want uh, final thoughts. This is kind of a review discussion as well. So if you have anything you want to end on or if there's a specific story beat that we didn't cover yet or you want to talk about more, uh, hit me with it. If not, we're going to bid farewell to the Achievers. Tell us your rankings. Yeah. Oh, of course. Uh, comments. Again, we're always in the comments. Uh, don't know mm -hmm. if you all look in the comments, but if you check any other video and there's a comment there, we have if, addressed it or talked to that person. It's if, all, it's so fun. If there's something that you can sway me from picking which ones my rankings. I want to see. Mm, yeah. Um. But yeah, if, with with that being said, remember there's a bunch of different ways you can support us. Literally pennies a day. You go over to Patreon.com. You can give us a dollar every month. That just helps us um, keep everything on. Mics, lights, everything like that. Um. Uh, so fed. that's basically yep dogs fed <laughs> i haven't said that in a long time i'm surprised you remember that mm -hmm. uh keeps the mics on likes on and alex's dogs fed uh well i really haven't said that in a long time <laughs> but uh um <laughs> sorry you fucked me up with that uh because it's almost like a good memory i haven't said it so long i should bring it back because mm -hmm. it's so fun to say oh, yeah uh, but uh but yeah remember patreon.com you can pm us that's how you get direct access to the show remember we're making this for you with you 
Um, this is something that we make together. So if you have a Girl, question, a comment, a concern, <laughs> it might be, <laughs> be by you. A question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea. That's how you PM us on patreon.com slash achievers. Just get, ask us a question, a comment, a concern. You have something, an issue, we'll bring it up on the next show. We'll talk about it. And we'll hey, either have a solution or we'll give you an answer to that question. Same thing with the YouTube comments, although we don't necessarily cover that in the shows. We do still talk to you. Same thing with Twitter. If you have a question or if you just want to show us something, twitter.com, at Easy Achievers or at EVM9000 or at Crazy Subscator, as always. Um, that's really it. Remember, you can support the show free without spending any money via algorithms five star us on any audio subscription service that you're using or youtube has a like comment section that also helps us out subscribing of course helps us even more and even more subscribing and then hitting the little notification bell helps us even more that's all algorithm stuff that's free stuff that you can click and never ever do anything else but if you do that every now and then that helps us out tremendously alex that's all i have for the achievers today and that's all i have for you is there anything else you want to tell them Go Chief. Go on, Chief. And Life is Strange is really good. Stevie, like, like go so play them. They're making a show too, I think. Are they really? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The wife told me about this. Yeah, yeah. They're making a TV show. They have Shawn Mendes making the song, which I was like, what? oh, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. You right. saw this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achievers, yeah. there's a show. I told, I jokingly said like, this thing's gonna be on the CW, isn't it? <laughs> Because it's like a perfect CW show, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a perfect show. Um, we're rambling. Uh, thank you so much um, for making it this far into the spoilcast. Go, Chief. <laughs>